What's up YouTube, it's Kara here and we are back with another video. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Kara Ray, and if you're returning, then welcome back, y'all. As you can tell by the title, we're just gonna be talking and chit-chatting about a few things. I have graduated. If you have not watched that video, please go ahead and watch that video, it'll be up there. But I officially graduated from TCU and I'm headed home for the summer before moving to New York in August. And I've got a couple of things that I want to accomplish and get done. So I just wanted to just just sit and just chat chat it up with you guys about it I also literally have nothing else to do here I'm still in Fort Worth right now and I'm currently in the move out process so like a lot of my stuff is packed away and my family actually came up today to load up the truck and take it back to Houston but anyway all I guess to say is I have nothing else to do with my time and I'm like let me just make a video and tell them about my <laughs> summer plans so that's what I'm doing today so before we go into it you guys already know I have to say this please make sure you go ahead and like comment share and subscribe also if you want to be notified when I post a new video because bangers will be coming out all summer I will be discussing that in this video a little bit more in depth um, and you don't want to miss it so go ahead and hit that notification bell as well that way you are notified immediately when I post a new video okay let's get into it so I'm just gonna be discussing like a job working out my YouTube goals and then growing relationships and spending time with my family so starting with a job your girl is moving to New York <laughs> The way Columbia has already drained my drained my savings account, like no money, no money on my card at all. So your girl is getting a job this summer. What that job is, I'm not exactly sure, but I will be mean, I will be making income because I have to make income. I have literally no other choice. Um, I do have some options in mind. One of them is pretty concrete. I just have to send a follow up text to this. Um, lady but i worked at the jcc last summer um if you watched my videos then um you probably like saw that i was like teaching i was a teaching artist uh for their summer camp and so i reached out to the lady in charge of like the performing arts department there and i was like hey like i'm getting my masters in arts admin like i will do anything like anything i will file i will go get her coffee like i will I will clean like I would literally do anything I was just like please can I work for you and thankfully she was like I think we can fit you in somewhere so I need to follow back up with her and secure that but yeah I really like working there too it's a good environment and considering that I'm getting my master's in arts admin this lady I think she's an incredible person that I could like be a mentee um, under she just she's just that girl like she knows what she's doing and this is a really big like institution in Houston and so I, I think it would just be a really great environment for me to start getting experience in arts admin and I would be more than thankful and happy to learn under this lady so yeah that's one thing um, I also have been thinking about renting studio space and teaching class so there are a couple studios in houston that i can do exactly that one of them is a little bit further from me but the other one is less further from me but it's still far if you know because houston is just big but yeah i think about doing that because i do want to just expand my teaching skills um i have taught i don't want to say i've taught a lot of classes but i want to teach adults more like my age and older just more professional and advanced students because that's what I want to do like in the future and so yeah if I can get some teaching under my belt I can just rent out studio space and then like charge you know people like 10 bucks to come take my class and then uh, make money that way I'm literally just trying to make as much money as possible because y'all again New York City is expensive and your girl's um savings account is um Mm, well below what it needs to be <laughs> what is meant for me will happen and everything will work itself out that's what i'm telling myself because everything has to work out <laughs> moving on to working out y'all y'all i am trying to just be in ultra shape like i am i'm already in shape because of like dance but there's a difference between being like dancer's body in shape and being like 
gym lifting weights kind of in shape um yeah and i'm trying to find a balance between both sometimes i find myself in dance and people ask me to do things and i'm like oh you know if i had muscle i could probably perform this a little bit better because i'm actually able to hold my body up also in new york like there are a lot of strong dancers and like i'm trying to be on their level and so i just i need to start putting in the work and taking care of my body and doing the things that i need to do in order to get there um i think being at tcu i've just you know it, i've gotten comfortable i've you know slacked off like a little bit and just haven't been doing any like super rigorous training that will that that got my body to that level so i'm just needing to put in the work on my own so i'm hoping to either get a gym membership when i go back home or just you know wake up in the morning and do my own workouts i actually already spoke to my sister today and we talked about um going on walks and like running every single morning which is nice because i do like running it's a good way to just like clear the mind and also like build a leg muscle because we love that um but i definitely want to continue doing weightlifting because i really enjoy that and i just feel very accomplished and feel like i'm doing something so y'all already see these gains just a little bit you know i just i just love the muscular look or not like super muscular like oh buffy muscle but like just toned i like I like being toned. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be great. Um, I just spoke about it, but dance classes, taking classes is expensive. Taking classes is very expensive. And ideally, if I could get up every day and be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take class every day, like I would do that, but your girl cannot afford to do that. Mm -mm. yeah we're gonna figure that out hopefully i can at least at least take a class once a week or maybe twice a week like ballet and modern or some kind of contemporary but hopefully at least once or at least once every other week because i get the money and i need to be saving money more than i need to be spending it so we just gonna see what happens i'm sure i'll be making youtube videos about it so y'all will be up to date <laughs> All right, let's talk about these YouTube goals. I'm looking at my vision board right now exactly. Let me grab it for you guys. This is the beautiful vision board that I made for myself at the beginning of the year. And I am so thankful to the Lord Almighty because majority of these things have already come to fruition. And I'm just like, wow like i was kind of i don't want to say i was skeptical skeptical about vision boards but i just ne i was never the type to make them but something in me in december i was like oh let's make a vision board and so me and my sister we like got posters and made one and i just put everything on here that i wanted to accomplish this year and i'm just like wow honestly just just incomplete awe like if you want whatever you want in this world, write it down, make a vision board, speak it into existence because it will it will come to you. If you stay consistent and just put it out there, it will it will flow to you. It may not be in your timing, but it will happen. It will happen. Trust and believe because that's what happened. And I'm just like, oh my gosh. But anyway, let me talk about what I actually want to talk about with this. YouTube is on my vision board and I was looking at it today and I was like hmm I was not specific enough as to what I want to happen with my YouTube so right here in black ink I wrote monetization 4,000 watch hours and 1k subs and so for those of you who don't know in order to start getting paid to get monetized on YouTube, you have to have reached 4,000 watch hours on all of your videos and reach 1K subs. So I'm almost at 1K and I just thank you guys so much for getting me there. <laughs> and I'm about, I'm at about, I think I'm almost at 2,000 watch hours. I'll have to look at my um, analytics and see. But yeah, I just, I am ready. I'm just I'm just ready to be in my full like just youtuber era I've, I've been in it for about two years now but now that I actually have time to be ultra consistent and posting like two videos a week and just you know setting a schedule for myself I I'm very much feel like I'm ready to handle the responsibility of 1k I think that during the school year at TCU because my schedule was so busy I would not have been able to handle having that many subs and being I guess more full-time on YouTube because my schedule just would not allow it so I would have been slacking and I just would not have been living up to the expectations of you know 
getting paid from this platform but now i feel like i can especially moving into new york there's so much content that i'm so much so much content that i'm looking forward to making for you guys and i'm I'm, I'm eager. I'm eager to just share my life with a bigger audience and just continue to grow and be, you know, a representation for, you know, people of color out there and just, just share my life with people because I think that's so exciting and sometimes it takes seeing people doing the things that you may not have thought possible to do to inspire you and motivate you and give you that realization of, oh my gosh, like, I'm gonna do this too or I can do this because I see someone else my color that is doing it so I hope that made sense but yeah yes 1k is the goal and um, monetization <laughs> okay before I speak on this last thing I really hate you put you put your email down once and they just decide to blow up your email literally every second of the day so I made a LinkedIn because your girl trying to get a job out here <laughs> I just keep getting so many emails and I'm like, this was my professional email account. And now it's just clogged up with all these LinkedIn job things, which is great because I'm like, you know, I can get notified when there's jobs, but I'm also like, how am I gonna see when the important emails come through? So that literally contributes nothing to this video, but oh, it's just so annoying. And I tried to unsubscribe, but it just it's just not working. And I guess I'm doing it wrong, but I'm just like, please stop sending me emails every five minutes about job availability. Speaking on the last thing, <laughs> growing my relationships and spending time with my family. So like I said, like I've mentioned many times already, and I'm sure you guys are probably annoyed, but I am moving to New York in August. And this summer, I mean, this has always been important, but this summer I think it's especially important because this is the furthest away from my family I will have ever been for a significant amount of time. And so I just, I really wanna make sure that I am living my best life this summer and making sure that I am spending meaningful time with them. Like if they wanna go somewhere, like let's go. If we wanna spend the night, if they wanna do this or you know, whatever it is, like I wanna make sure those things happen because I have an idea of when the next time that'll happen, but at the same time I don't because you know, right now I'm planning, oh, okay, I wanna come home at least once before Thanksgiving, but what if that doesn't happen? Or what if I don't get to come home at all? during that whole first semester. So I just wanna make sure that I'm spending quality time with my family. Quality time is my top love language, I would say. Along with, um, okay, honestly, I feel like all of them are my love languages. Quality time is very important to me. It's it's so, so important to me. And it just, it just, it, it just means a lot. And which I literally just said, but yeah. Um, I just wanna make sure that I am giving giving to my family and allowing them to just fill me up. So when I am away from them, I just, you know, I know that they're here and I and I really feel them here because I was intentional about the time that I spent with them before I left. The next thing um, is just building relationships. And this is not only with my family, but just with my other friends around me. I'm leaving TCU and you know, when you, I think when you are, who is this calling me? Neighbors Deli. I do not know who you are. No, I'm just gonna do. I think when you're leaving any social institution, it's very hard to see who are the lifelong friends and who are the seasonal friends because sometimes you do make friends with people just because of distance. And like I was in proximity to majority of these people here, but now that I'm gone, it's like, are these friendships gonna last? Are they not? So I think this is the period where I'm going to realize, I guess, who was seasonal and who's long-term. And um, I kind of already have an idea, but I just wanna make sure that I'm prioritizing those relationships that were meaningful to me in college and making sure that they do make it past the post-graduation incubator, incubator, incubator phase. Yeah, cause you know, I kind of want to be that person that's like when they're older and they have kids, they're like, oh, I'm gonna go hang with my friend from college. Like, cause it was college and we can like reminisce on all the memories and stuff like that. So yeah, I just, I just want to make sure that I'm continuing, continuing to put time, energy, and effort into the friends that feed me. But anyway, yeah, I'm excited and yeah, I, I'm really looking forward to seeing where my life goes next. I see so many things happening for myself and I just, I'm just really excited for what God has 
next to me in this next chapter so so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video that is pretty much all the things i wanted to talk about um yes as usual if you have any questions comments concerns whatever it is if you just want to chit chat feel free to drop anything and everything down below in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram i'm always happy to answer you guys dm they make me very happy but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you guys next time bye Mm.